paper trays. Have you seen it? It's just plastic frame. Comes in this very sturdy box, so uh, you can you know throw it in your truck or, or on the shelf in your shop or whatever, and it won't get damaged, which I think is pretty cool. And then it's just a plastic frame. It has this cool QR code that when you scan it with your camera, it'll bring you right to the website. So it's a, a web-based app that does this. So it has a couple center lines on it. You just kind of put it around your picture. Mine is just a hand-drawn thing that I did with a couple of markers. And, um, you know, blacked it in just so I would have a pretty crisp idea of what the shape is. Set it how you like it. Open up the app, which, like I said, just opens up so easy. And then now I'm in the browser, so I'm just in Safari. And you just back this thing up until you can see all the frame. And once it's captured, it's ready to turn it right into a vector. So now it's a scalable vector. See that little dot? It actually picked up this little tiny piece of crap on the picture. It's like, it's gone now. It was a piece of lint. It, that's how accurate it is. Um, and because this line is straight and I took it at a weird angle, um, I know that it's actually rectified it so it's it doesn't distort no matter what angle you take it at, which is pretty impressive stuff. And then because it's a scalable vector thing, it doesn't break down and get all pixelated when you blow it up massive. So I could take this thing now and blow it up like 50 feet long if I wanted to. Uh, cut it out of vinyl and stick it on the side of a building and it would be accurate to what I just drew by hand, which is like incredible technology. So um, that's it. It's just this simple thing. Once you now are, you like it, you can, I could actually weed out this little dot that I don't like. I could uh, take out, remove that little thing. Now it's not blue anymore, so it won't send that on. So you can kind of look it over and just make sure that there's no um, little weirdnesses. Once you like that, you go to save it and you just save it as an SVG, which can be exported to Illustrator and some of those kind of programs directly to your shape and origin, to any CNC router, um, laser cutter, chart plotter, you know, your Cricut vinyl cutter, all that kind of stuff. Um, really, really cool. You could send it to a, a plasma cutter with an SVG file. You cut this out of steel. And I just that easily was able to draw it on a sheet of paper and now I can scale it to any size I want. So instead of trying to accurately draw a huge drawing, you just draw it at a comfortable size that's comfortable for you. And then you can scale it any which way you want and not have it get all screwy. Like if you took a photograph and blew it up, it would be blurry. This doesn't do that. So very, very cool project, uh, product and project from Shaper. Uh, it's got like rubberized bottom on it and uh, so it doesn't slide all over the place. And I believe you can, you know, with software you definitely can. I don't know if you can in the app, but you could take this thing and stitch together a bigger photograph of something. Uh, it doesn't have to be drawing. It just, you know, line drawing was easy for me and this is what I wanted. So uh, it's that easy. You just take your drawing, throw the frame down, open up the app, hold this thing at any old angle that you feel like, capture it, and then it turns it into a vector, just like that. Pretty incredible. Yep, pretty incredible. I mean, just mind-bogglingly cool. It's simple to use, too. I mean, just launch the app.